What better way to end a series and end a game than at my favorite area, the Ivory Tower? Ooh, welcome, friends, to a new episode of Lineage 2 Salvation Retail. Lineage 2 on the Chrono server. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a pretty dang good day, guys. And, yeah, are you guys having a good day? I, it's pretty good. I do have sad news, though. Uh, I don't know if you caught that first little snippet, but this is going to be the last episode. This is going to be a fond, fond farewell to Lineage 2 Retail. Um, I have decided to not play anymore. Uh, I have some serious issues with the game. I have some serious issues with uh, NCSoft and the way they are ruining or have ruined the game over the last uh, year, even a couple of years, honestly. Um, but now, I mean, it's just blatantly clear that NCSoft really does not care and CSoft wants nothing more than to have you spend your money in the uh, the L2 store and buy more fortune tickets, buy more energies of destruction. They want you to play the game with your credit card um, and continue on like that. Uh, this is not meant to be a blast uh, and CSoft for what they're doing or what they're not doing in video, but it may be kind of like that. Um, but this is going to be my last video on Lineage 2 Kronos uh, retail, North American servers, that you may ever see. Uh, I don't know that we will come back. Um, with that being said, that does not mean that we are going to be leaving the game of Lineage. Uh, we will play on our own private servers. But as far as retail concern is concerned, after reading through all the comments and reading through all your guys' suggestions and things like that, it's time to put it to bed. Um, it's been a really good, fun run. Uh, I've really enjoyed the, the game and the gameplay and all of these fun things that we got to do in the game. Uh, we made it to a level 100. Um, I've leveled some other characters, but it's clear that Lineage 2 and NCSoft has no um, no desire to develop the game uh, without a credit card. They want you to play with your money, and I am not one of those people. Um, what bothers me about this game is I cannot catch anybody that's at the top level, and I never will be able to unless I put money into the game. Um that doesn't sit well with me very, you know, a lot. And the core, uh, the, that that's one thing. And, and that's kind of the same goes for most pay-to-win pay to games. Um, we all understand that's kind of the deal when you when you get involved with a free-to-play or a pay-to-win type of game. We, we understand that. There's a level of that, that that's going to be there. Um, and this has just been going over and over for a long, long time. And NCSoft has clearly made the decisions to turn their game into... Can I actually run up that? How high can I get? Oh, not very high. Um, I've never honestly tried to do that. Um, NCSoft has made it very clear that they want to go the way of the microtransactions with their new uh, Lineage 2 Revolution game, which we ended that series as well. And um, I'm just kind of done with um, trying to keep up. And here's the real reason why I am leaving. Um, you know, there obviously there's issues with the putting money into the game and spending money in the L2 store and this, that. The economy is shot. The only way to improve is with your credit card. Those are some of the core things. But the main thing... They have taken away core mechanics of the game. The only thing Lineage 2 wants you to do is spend money in the L2 store. They don't want you to play the game. They don't give a shit about the game. They don't care about the gameplay because nothing has been improved whatsoever. The only thing they want you to do is spend your money. And you know what? I'm kind of, I'm not okay with that. And if this game was pay to play, 
that's fine. I can understand that. That's a good way to develop a game. And I know that most games are getting away from that model, and that's okay. There are things like crowdfunding and making a great game and having people actually invest in your game. That's one thing. Um, that's how you should be doing it. But NCSoft clearly doesn't care about that anymore. And um, they just want your money. And it's clear. And, and that's fine. That's okay. They've obviously taken a long time. The game's been around for 13, almost 14 years. And, and now it's time to be done. And it's kind of... It's a means to an end, you know. Um, we're going to move on to other things. Um, there will still be Lineage 2 on my channel. Um, the thing I think that really kind of got me was... Um, the cloak event that they ran. They ran a cloak event to get the Ancient Kingdom cloaks. And they were so OP. It was crazy. And then, like, not... No more than two months later. they Three months later, maybe. They ran the same event again. And it's just like, really, guys? Are you serious with this crap? It's really bad. So, I did some research on spoilers and crafters. They've taken away... You know, I mean, still the basic, very core mechanics of crafting and things and stuff are there. But spoiling, you really can't spoil much. Um, I did enough research to find out that they've completely nerfed all the drops. So they don't want you in, they don't want you in the game playing. They want you in the game spending money. And... I was trying to find a different way to hopefully keep the nostalgia of Lineage 2 on retail alive, but clearly the nostalgia is gone. The only nostalgia that is left in the game is walking around and listening to the sounds and the soundtrack. That's it. Going to the different places, hearing the monsters that fight. That's it. That's the only nostalgia that's left. Uh, everything else is gone. So anybody that thinks that there is still some left, they're obviously the ones that are spending money in the L2 store. Um, for those of you that want a change or need a change um, or want change from Lineage 2, uh, the only way that we would be able to make a change and have NCSoft listen is to stop spending our money in the L2 store. But I can guarantee the guys... I mean, even people in my clan, and I'm not calling anybody out, and I understand why they do it. Uh, I don't agree with it, but they've built their characters, and they want to be able to compete, which means they have to spend money. And that's just how the game is now. Uh, it's sad. It sucks. But uh, that's, that's just the nature and the status of the game. So my final question to leave, leave everybody with um, is, should you play Lineage 2 retail in 2018 is that a smart decision is that a wise use of your time will you get enjoyment out of it yes probably will you get some nostalgia factors for those of you that are coming back yes you will but if you want to invest time and actually feel fulfilled like you actually did something inside of the game and you've accomplished something the answer is absolutely not do not play Lineage 2 Retail from NCSoft uh, in 2018. It is not worth playing anymore. Uh, the game has shown its age, and I got to tell you, the game is over. So, that kind of concludes my series for Lineage 2 Retail Salvation. I hope you've enjoyed the series. I've had a lot of fun playing it. Um... I do have some disdain for NCSoft and I am frustrated with their policies and procedures and the way they've developed and really kind of continued on their path of money grubbing and not developing their game. And that's okay. That's great. I'm sure they've added stuff to the end game. And honestly, I just don't care anymore at this point. Uh, I had a really good tenure. I've had a really good and I've enjoyed my time that I have learned about the game. It's been really fun. I've enjoyed playing my characters. It's been great. Um, but if I were you, I would uh, invest in another game, guys. So, as always, please like and share on your favorite social media. I would love to hear what you think about the status of the game at this point, even if it's a different retail server, maybe Naya or uh, Freya or one of the Russian or Korean servers. 
Um, I don't play on those ones, so I'd love to hear your input on them. Please leave your comments down in the comments section. Uh, let's start a discussion about it. But this is my final farewell, so I hope you guys all enjoyed the series. And um, it was a lot of fun. Um, as you can see, uh, I'll leave you with a few things at the end, but I, I, I took some snapshots and screens and did a little recording of some major places in the in the game that used to be vibrant and very full of life and they're completely dead and gone and the game we all know it is no longer here it will only live on in private servers so go find those private servers if you want one go check out play Anera. it's a fun one and uh, we are building a good core group of people that is where your nostalgia is going to live forever so come meet us on play Anera. Uh, in the older versions, older chronicles of Lineage 2. As always, please like and share on your favorite social media. I'd love to see your comments down below, and I will catch you guys in the next series. As always, please like and share on all your favorite social media. Peace out, everybody. Yep. Hyde is empty. Aiden's empty. No one cares anymore. Oh, there's one guy. Even the once vibrant and exuberant Giren is empty. It's so sad. <laughs>